How's it going, everybody? Resale Rabbit here. It is Black Friday, and I am <clears throat> losing my voice, apparently. It is Black Friday, November 25th. Because of that, nobody's here. Um, everybody has Thanksgiving and Friday off with pay, and then, of course, the weekend is a weekend. So I'm going to ship eBay orders. This is yesterday and today because of Thanksgiving. Nobody was shipping orders. The mail wasn't running yesterday. We've got 19 orders here for 825 bucks. First is gonna be an A1-3. Okay, one, two, four. Is this it? He's working on one of the down here. I'm so confused. Is this it? I don't know why this was over here. Uh, all right, it's a bra. We're looking for a 34 triple D, which is this one. First one I grabbed. Sold that for 14 bucks, and I believe this is from Motherhood Maternity, which I paid a dollar for. Next, in A61, probably this. Yep, yeah, this is it. You got a pillow sham sold for $29.99. This is from the Pottery Barn load. I actually just got another sale, so we're up to 20 for 874. We're looking for C5-1, which is right here. And it's red, so it's probably this. A Pottery Barn box stitch sham. Uh, sold for 45 bucks. Again, came from the Pottery Barn load. Next is G2-1. Right here, a whole bunch of vintage Christmas in here, and I believe it was this that sold. Uh, we've got two of them. Are these the same? Uh, no, that, this one looks like Slazy. It looks like Bells. Bells sounds familiar. And I don't know what we sold it for. 30 bucks, I think. So this is brand new from probably about the 60s. Uh, it was originally a dollar and 49 cents and it sold for 29.99 bells and lanterns uh yep that's the one we've got a whole bunch of vintage christmas stuff listed right now and uh that's one of them it's doing really well next we're gonna go to g2 it just says g2 and it's red and i don't see anything red on here so let's look in these boxes Maybe it's in here. It is not. Okay. Oh, whoops. Stuff is falling. That, why won't this go in? There we go. I hate these flaps on the bottom. All right, I found out one thing that annoys me is he basically considers this whole back area G. What it should be is um, this is G from here to here, but notice the G boxes are on the F shelf with the F boxes. And then this should be, what letter comes? H, this should be the H shelf. But the item is right here. Uh, Velvet Pillow Sham. I believe this is just one sham. 50 bucks, it was like $50.99 if I recall correctly. Yes, 50.99. Now H1, is that gonna be? This, no, I think I know where it is and it's nowhere near here. I'm pretty sure he pulled this for the sale, but for some reason never pulled it from eBay. So I just removed the listing from eBay. Let's take a walk to a sale pallet. And it's going to be a bit of a walk. It should be back here. I don't know which pallet it's on, but I'm pretty sure I saw it on a pallet recently. Let's see, I don't think it would be that one, or that one. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Wrong. It's not going to be back here. I know where it is. I bet it's on this pallet over here. Now, I recall seeing it on the top. But I'm not seeing it on here. Unless he shoved it up here somewhere. But I think this is all special buy stuff. Although the intent might have been to make these special buy, but I don't see it. 
He really should have removed it from eBay when he pulled it from the eBay shelves. It's a brown box that has four units in it. I did see it sticking out of the top of a pallet recently though. Man, I'm gonna have to do some hunting. Well, I have no idea where it is. I'll have to wait until I hear back from Tim. So anyways, that was a coffee maker. We sold for $27.99. We did have three more available. I removed those listings. And that was one that I know he pulled. Um, we discussed pulling it for the sale because it had been listed since March for $27.99 and it's just not moving, except right after we pull it apparently. And I am 99% certain I saw it on a pallet back there somewhere and it will probably turn up when I'm signing up for the sale. Hopefully Tim remembers where he put it, um, but what can you do? All right, now on H3, I'm guessing it's gonna be this. We sold some cabinet drawer pulls. Uh, this might be the right one. Um, it is Liberty Athens. Let's say Athens on here somewhere. It says Champagne Bronze, which is the same. I don't know, it doesn't say Athens. I'll look at the picture, but I'm pretty certain it's these. Um, sold for $20.99. It's a box of 12. Let's see, ends in 2315, 2315. So this is the one. Next, H6. Hold on. All right, I believe this is going to be it. Yep. Now this is an interesting one. I don't know what the story is on here. But it's listed as Char Griller Replacement Part Slot. So I'm guessing it was a grill that was broken or something. It's just a whole bunch of parts. I'm not sure what the deal is. But anyways, we sold it for $49.99. And it's only been listed since August. Next is K2-1 right there. And that is going to be this thing. A shaver. Panasonic shaver. Came from Amazon, sold for $29.99. Next is K2. We sold a box of, are these nails or staples? Uh, I can't see the picture because it's covered up. Staples. We sold a box of these for $25.49. Next, we sold another thing from the 60s. This sewing chest. Where's the handle? I think it might be in there. Oh, no. There's the handle. Uh, sold for 50 bucks. It's brand new. We had three of them. We sold the first one for like 100 but then these just sat for a while. So 50 bucks, brand new sewing chest. Um, last one that sold went to a movie studio. Let's look at this one. I looked up the address and the person's name. Nothing came up with the person's name, and it's just going to an apartment. So probably just someone who thinks it's cool. Now this one, not a great sale, but this has been listed for over a year. Uh, it sold for fifteen dollars and forty nine cents. That was going to cost me like ten to twelve bucks to ship this. Why did I sell it so cheap? What we do before warehouse sales, we run a sale. Why is Roger turned around? I don't know how long he's been like that. I haven't noticed. Anyways, let's fix him. There we go. Tim must have been creeped out. Um, so, anyways. Usually a couple weeks before we do a warehouse sale, I run a sale on eBay on older inventory. And rather than going through one by one over you know, hundreds of items, um, what I'll do is blanket sales. I'll create rules, they call it. So I believe, well, let me look. I can tell you exactly what, what we did. So we've got 296 items at 30% off and 499 items at 15% off. This current, I don't know what the number was before we sold. I mean, we've sold some, it's been a few days now. I don't think I can see the price rules that I did. I believe it was something along the lines of 300 days or older on the site. So almost a year or older listed for, I want to say it was like 25 bucks or more. We did 30% off. If it was um, under 300 days and listed under 25 bucks, we did 15% off. And then items that were like 180 days to 300, uh, regardless of price, we did a 15% off. Just try to move older items. And that's where this one fell. 
So let's see if I can see the original price. Yep, the original price was $21.99, which would be reasonable for this. Um, but with a 30% discount, that takes basically all the profit away. And also, if I went through one by one, I would know this is something that would make more sense to just pull and sell in, on $10 a day. But it would take me probably a whole day to go through all of that stuff um, and manually do one by one, whereas instead it take, took me like five minutes to set all that up. So for the essentially whole day of work, to lose 10 bucks on that one item and maybe a couple other items here and there. It's not that big of a deal to me. All right, we sold a Pottery Barn light fixture. It's in the Staples room. We call this the Staples room because we started putting big stuff in here that we got from Staples. And now it's just big stuff. Is this it? That is not it. That is, is this Pottery Barn? I don't think it is, but no, it's not. There's a Pottery Barn light fixture somewhere in here. Call him my name. I don't know how big it is either. It says sconce light, but the thing looks huge. Ooh, might be this one. I think. No, I don't think this is it. Found it. It sold for a hundred or ninety-five dollars. Correction, ninety-five bucks plus shipping. On shelf T1, we sold this. This was actually in the last warehouse sale. Nobody bought it. Um, so I listed it, uh, took an offer for 40 bucks. And then in T3-2, we sold these. These are finials for curtains, I think. I would assume, it's, yeah, for curtains. Uh, these came from Bed Bath & Beyond when we bought them out. So I paid 5% of this. What's that, a dollar, I think? A dollar 25, and I sold it for 14 bucks. Now in T5-2, where are we? That's gonna be this. It looks bigger in the picture. These, I sold two of these. Sold two of these automatic adjustable humidistat thermostat uh, for $38.49 each. And they've been listed for over a year. August of 2021, we sold them, or we listed them. Now this is already out because Tim just listed it, but it's a styrofoam cooler from the 60s. Um, I don't know how I'm going to ship this so it doesn't get damaged, but it sold for 100 bucks. This is one that I'm probably going to put insurance on when I ship it. It's very lightweight, but it's, you know, hollow styrofoam, 1960s. I may put some actual wood in it to, like, around it, just so it doesn't get crushed in shipping. And lastly, Z4-1. This is something that you're going to want to look out for when you're thrifting. 20 bucks for this. This is a remote for a carousel projector. So like the slides, the old slide, photo slides, you'd push this button to uh, advance or return. Uh, it's got that type of end on it. Sold for $19.99. And that's the sales. So I'm going to get these shipped out and I'll let you know if anything else sells. So for the styrofoam thing, I cut some styrofoam to the shape around it, which will hopefully protect it a little bit. Um... And then I'm going to fill in the sides with more. We had another sale. C51 right here. And it's probably going to be this. It's a reindeer Christmas stocking. Reindeer Christmas stocking. This is from Pottery Barn. And it sold for $29.74. Somehow I missed this one. A Pottery Barn backpack sold for $42.49. Look what I found. That's the coffee maker. And with that, we're all shipped out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.